Hi, I'm Tamara Armstrong, and I'm going to be auditioning for the movie Pulp Fiction. Hi, I'm David Fabian, and I'll be auditioning for Pulp Fiction. And we've set up a little bit of a set for you so you can be seated and facing forward so we can see you better. Adjust this. Okay. And casting directors, you ready? Yep. And action. Thanks a bunch. Uh, want a sausage? No, I don't eat pork. Are you Jewish? I ain't Jewish, man. I just don't dig on swine. Why not? They're filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Sausages taste good. Pork chops taste good. A sewer rat may taste like pumpkin pie. I'll never know, because I, even if I did, I wouldn't eat the filthy pig. Pigs sleep in root and feces. That's a filthy animal. I don't want to eat nothing that ain't got enough sense to disregard its own feces. How about dogs? Dogs eat their own feces? I don't eat dog either. Yes, but do you consider a dog to be a filthy animal? I wouldn't go so far as to call a dog filthy, but they're definitely dirty. But a dog's got personality, and personality, personality goes a long way. So, by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality, he ceased to be a filthy animal? We'd have to be talking about one charming pig. It'd have to be the Cary Grant of pigs. <laughs> Good for you. Lighten up a little. You've been sitting there all quiet. I've just been here, sitting here, thinking. About what? The miracle we witnessed. The miracle you witnessed? I witnessed a freak occurrence. Do you know what a miracle is? An act of God. What's an act of God? I guess it's when God makes the impossible possible. And I'm sorry, Jules, but I don't think what happened this morning qualifies. Don't you see, Vince? That don't matter. You're judging, judging this thing the wrong way. It's not about what. It could be God stopped the bullets. He changed Coke into Pepsi. He found my car keys. You don't judge it like it was based on merit. Whether or not what we experienced was an according to a holy miracle is insignificant. What is significant is I felt God's touch. God got involved. Thanks a bunch. Want a sausage? No, I don't eat pork. Are you Jewish? I ain't Jewish, man. I just don't dig on swine. Why not? To filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Sausages taste good. Pork chops taste good. A sewer rat may taste like pumpkin pie. I'll never know, because even if it did, I wouldn't eat the filthy pig. Pig sleep and root and feces. That's a filthy animal. I don't want to eat nothing that ain't got enough sense to disregard its own feces. How about dogs? Dogs eat their own feces? I don't eat dog either. Yes, but do you consider a dog to be a filthy animal? I wouldn't go so far as to call a dog filthy but they're definitely dirty. But a dog's got personality, and personality goes a long way. So, by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality, he'd cease to be a filthy animal? We'd have to be talking about one charming pig. It'd have to be the Cary Grant pigs. <laughs> Good for you. Lighten up a little. You've been sitting there all quiet. She's been sitting here thinking. About what? The miracle we witnessed. The miracle you witnessed, I witnessed a freak occurrence. Do you know what a miracle is? An act of God. What's an act of God? I guess it's when God makes the impossible possible. I'm sorry, Jules, but I don't think what happened this morning qualifies. Don't you see, Vince? That don't matter. You're judging this thing the wrong way. It's not about what. It could be God stopped the bullets. He changed Coke into Pepsi. He found my car keys. You don't judge it like it was based on merit. Whether or not what we experienced was an according to a holy miracle is insignificant. What is significant is I felt God's touch. God got involved. Cut. Speed. Action. Hi, my name is Maggie Belfield and I'm auditioning for the film Pulp Fiction. Hi, I'm Chance McCoy. I'm auditioning for Vincent. Okay, and you can be seated. And begin whenever you're ready. Thanks a bunch. Want a sausage? No, I don't eat pork. Are you Jewish? No, I, I ain't Jewish, man. I just don't dig on swine. Why not? They're filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Sausages taste good. Pork chops taste good. A sewer rat may taste like pumpkin pie. I'll never know, because even if it did, I wouldn't eat the filthy motherfucker. Pigs sleep and root and shit. That's a filthy animal. I don't want to. I don't want to eat nothing that ain't got enough sense to disregard its own feces. How about dogs? 
Dogs eat their feces. I don't eat dog either. Yes, but do you consider a dog to be a filthy animal? I wouldn't go so far as to call it filthy, but they're definitely dirty. But dogs got personality, and personality goes a long way. So, by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality, he ceased to be a filthy animal. We'd have to be talking about some other fucking charming pig. It'd have to be the Cary Grant of pigs. <laughs> Good for you. Lighten up a little. You've been sitting there all quiet. I've just been sitting here thinking. About what? The miracle we witnessed? The miracle you witnessed. I witnessed a freak occurrence. Do you know what a miracle is? An act of God. What's an act of God? Um, I guess it's just when God makes the impossible possible. And I'm sorry, Jules, but I don't think that what happened this morning qualifies. Don't you see, Vince? That shit don't matter. You're just, you're judging this thing the wrong way. It's not about what. It could be, it could be God stopped the bullets. He could change Coke into Pepsi. He found my motherfucking car keys. You don't judge shit like that based on merit, whether or not what we experienced was according to Hoyle Miracle in, is insignificant. What is significant is that I felt God's touch. God got involved. Hi there, my name is Ario Azaghoush. I'll be auditioning for Pulp Fiction, uh, Fiction here at Saddleback. Hello, my name is Brian Baker. I'll be auditioning for Pulp Fiction. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Thanks a bunch. Want some coffee? Want a sausage? Nah, I don't eat pork. Are you Jewish? I ain't Jewish, man. I just don't dig on swine. Why not? They're filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Sausages taste good. Pork chops taste good. A sewer rat may taste like pumpkin pie. I'll never know, because if it did, I wouldn't eat the filthy pig. Pigs sleep in root and feces. That's a filthy animal. I don't want to eat nothing that ain't got enough sense to disregard its own feces. How about dogs? Dogs eat their own feces. I don't eat dog either. Yes, but do you consider a dog to be a filthy animal? I wouldn't go so far as to call a dog filthy, but they're definitely dirty. But a dog's got personality. Personality goes a long way. So by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality, would he cease to be a filthy animal? We'd have to be talking about one charming pig. It'd have to be the Cary Grant of pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, man. Lighten up a little. You've been sitting there all quiet. I just uh, been sitting here thinking. About what? The miracle we just witnessed. Mm. The miracle you witnessed? I just witnessed a freak occurrence. Do you know what a miracle is? An act of God. What's an act of God? I guess it's when God makes the impossible possible. And I'm sorry, Jules, but I don't think what happened this morning qualifies. Don't you see, Vince? That don't matter. You're judging this thing the wrong way. It's not about what. It could be God stopped the bullets. He changed Coke into Pepsi. He found my car keys. You don't judge it like it was based on merit. Whether or not what we experienced was an according to Hoyle miracle is not significant. What is significant is I felt God's touch. We got God involved. Amen to that, brother. And cut. Thanks a bunch. Want a sausage? Nah, I don't eat pork. You Jewish? I ain't Jewish, man. Just don't dig on swine. Why not? Because they're filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Sausage tastes good. Pork chops taste good. A sewer rat may taste like pumpkin pie. I'll never know, because if it did, I wouldn't eat the filthy pig. Pigs sleep and root in feces. There's a filthy, that's a filthy animal. I don't want to eat nothing that ain't got enough sense to disregard its own damn feces. 
How about dogs? I don't dogs eat their own feces. I don't eat dog either, bro. Yes, but do you consider a dog to be a filthy animal? I wouldn't go as far to call a dog filthy, but they're definitely dirty. But a dog's got personality, and personality goes a long way. So by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality, he'd cease to be a filthy animal? We'd have to be talking about one charming pig. It'd have to be the Gary... the Cary Grant of pigs. <laughs> Good for you. Lighten up a little. You've just been sitting there, man, all quiet. i just been sitting here thinking. Uh, about what? The miracle we just witnessed. You witnessed a miracle. I witnessed a freak occurrence. Do you know what a miracle is? An act of God. What is an act of God? I guess it's when God makes the impossible possible. And I'm sorry, Jules, but I don't think what we just saw this morning quite qualifies. Don't you see, Vince? That shit don't matter. You're judging this thing the wrong way. It's not about what. It could be God stopped the bullets. He changed Coke into Pepsi. He found my car keys. You don't judge it like that. It was based on a merit. Whether or not we experience, what we experienced was an according to Hoyle miracle is insignificant. What is significant is I felt God's touch. God got involved. 